Rise the vine, sunshine. We're going to start standing, taking our deep breaths, inhaling those arms up wide, really opening up that rib cage, exhaling the hands to heart center. We're going to do two more of these. Inhale wide, exhale heart center. And one last one, really deepening that breath. We're going to widen our stance and fall into a wide forward fold. We're going to rest here for a moment. We can press into our hips, swaying our hips side to side, extending that stretch into the inside of our thighs. Now let's take a moment to grab our elbows with our wrists and allow the head to hang as we sway back and forth, inviting a gentle release in our lower back. Breathing freely through this movement. We're going to bend slightly at the knees as we slowly roll up like a rag doll, allowing each vertebrae to rise at a time. And at the top, we're going to inhale those arms out wide and exhale hands to heart center. And I'm going to stay. And on this next breath, we're going to inhale those arms up wide at the top. Go ahead and lift that right knee up towards the sky and step forward bending that front knee straightening out the back placing that back heel down if it's not already i'd go ahead and inhale from that warrior one exhale to the warrior two take a nice deep breath and as you exhale lean forward until you can't anymore and place that front elbow on that front knee and we're going to invite some movement into our shoulders by just doing these swimmers, allowing the arm to flow in a circle. And we can rotate direction. We're going to go ahead and allow that arm to, to reach forward, really stretching that side body, pressing through the fingertips, and breathing here. We're going to inhale right back up into that warrior two. We're going to swap sides, so we're just going to face the middle and then face the opposite side. Making sure that the knee is not going over the toe. You should be able to look down and see that big toe on your next exhale. Lean forward until you can't anymore. Placing that knee onto that front leg. Same thing here. Circling the arms. Inviting that openness into our shoulders. Go ahead and rotate in the opposite direction. Take a nice deep breath here. And then we're going to exhale, release back up into that warrior two. And we're going to reach that front arm up and back into our warrior three. Really stretching and breathing here. Inhale. Let's find our way to center. Now we're gonna inhale those arms up and exhale wide and back into that wide forward fold. And we can see if our hips feel a little bit more open here. Go ahead and sway back and forth. Finding that comfortable range of motion for you. You can also choose to bend one knee at a time if that's more comfortable. That's a different stretch. 
So just finding what part of your hips, what part of your thighs you want to stretch and doing that. Now we're going to come into a wide cat cow. So as we inhale, we're going to arch the back, lifting the head up. And as we exhale, we're going to round the back, dropping the head, pressing through those fingertips. Continuing to flow at the pace of our own breath. Matching one breath per movement. Then we can go ahead and rest from that stretch. Take a nice deep inhale and on your next exhale, you're going to reach that right arm up towards the sky. Taking a couple breaths here. Go ahead and exhale that arm back down. Switch sides. Take a nice deep breath in. And then on your next exhale, exhale that left arm to the sky. On your next exhale, go ahead and swap sides again. Find that comfortable placement with your arm. We don't want to overextend. We want to just find that perfect stretch for our body. Remembering that there's a difference between pain entering the body and pain leaving the body. And finding that perfect stretch where it just feels like we are honoring the body and releasing tension. Go ahead and rotate to the opposite side again. Couple breaths here. On your next exhale, go ahead and release that arm back down to the ground. Coming back into that wide forward fold. And again, choosing to either bend one knee at a time, sending that stretch out to one leg and one thigh. Or just swaying the hips back and forth, keeping the legs slightly, slightly bent. Go ahead and bend more at the knees to have a strong base as we roll up like a rag doll. At the top, we're gonna to check the alignment of our feet. We want our feet to be slightly pointed outwards. We're gonna come into our yogi squats, really warming up that body. We're gonna inhale those arms up wide. And as we exhale, we're gonna exhale into a wide simo squat. And we can really exhale loudly while we do these squats. Inhaling up at the top. <sighs> and exhaling at the bottom. Next exhale, we're actually going to hold in this squat for a mini meditation. If you want an additional challenge, you can choose to come up onto your toes. We can also inhale those arms up. Maybe take a mudra, placing the palms together and extending the index fingers up. Holding here, really connecting with our breath. Building that strength and giving ourselves gratitude for being able to hold this position. We can go ahead and release from that stretch. Go ahead and come onto your, place your heels down if you were on your toes. Rise up. Inhale those arms up. We're going to do three rounds of namaste breaths. Inhale wide. Exhale heart center. And on your next exhale, you're going to exhale back into that wide forward fold. Now we're going to invite some movement into our neck. By just looking left and looking right. Allowing gravity to do most of the work to really extend our spine. 
through our neck and through our head. And now we're gonna look forward and back, inhaling as we lift the head to look up and exhaling as we bring our chin to our chest. Moving at the pace of our own breath, matching one breath per movement. Go ahead and bend those knees again as we roll up slowly like a rag doll. Really taking care of our spine with these rolls up. At the top, inhale those arms up wide. Exhale, namaste. We're going to come into our next circles. So we're just going to draw small circles with our nose. And allowing those circles to get bigger gradually. Taking note of how our necks are feeling today. If we hear any cracks or anything like that just taking note of where we may need to send some more love Go ahead and find your way to center and begin to rotate in the opposite direction. We're going to find our way to center. Go ahead and inhale those arms up wide. Three more rounds of namaste breaths. Bringing those hands to heart center as we exhale. And inhaling the arms out wide. Exhale, namaste. Now we want to check the alignment of our feet one more time. We're going to place those feet out about hip distance apart. They may, they can be a little bit wider than hip distance if you want. We're going to come into our hip circles, press the glutes back, and then in a circular motion, we're going to bring those hips forward, up, and around. So just circulating those hips, really feeling that extension and that stretch. Go ahead and rotate in the opposite direction. Go ahead and find your way to center. Inhale those arms up wide. You can choose to take your mudra or just clasp your hands together or just hold them together in place. We're going to come into our side bending rotation. As we do these, we're going to rotate from side to side. So as we exhale, coming down, inhaling up on that opposite side, we're going to rotate going right back the way that we came exhaling down back the opposite direction and back up to the top and then same thing reversing that side 
and coming back up on the opposite direction. Inhaling at the top and exhaling at the bottom. Finding our personal flow for how fast or how slow we want to go. Honoring our own bodies. Finding our own range of motion. Keeping a slight bend in our knees. And really enjoying that stretch. We're gonna meet at the top, bringing those hands down to heart center. Go ahead and inhale those arms right back up and clasp the hands at the top, really stretching through our shoulders, pressing those palms up towards the sky, breathing freely here. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly release that clasp, releasing those hands down, and then inhale right back up, bringing the hands to heart center. Go ahead and inhale those arms up one more time. As you exhale, you're going to exhale into a regular forward fold. Walk those hands up until you can come into a plank. Once you're in your plank, go ahead and press the hips up and back for downward dog. If this is not comfortable, you can come onto hands and knees as a modification. If it is comfortable, go ahead and pedal the feet, bending one knee at a time, really extending that stretch out to one leg at a time while we're in this down dog. Remembering to press strongly through our palms, pressing the chest towards the thighs as we enjoy the only downward dog in this practice today. Go ahead and press into that downward dog, straining both legs. Take a few deep breaths here. And whenever you're ready, you can come down onto your knees. We're gonna get ready for our final relaxation. So go ahead and find your comfortable position. I'm out of town and I did not bring my yoga mat. So I'm gonna sit upright for this meditation. Feel free to lay flat on the ground if that's comfortable for you. I'm sitting up straight. Placing my right hand on my heart and left palm on my belly, right at the solar plexus. Remember as we come into this final relaxation that the past and the future do not exist in this moment. All that matters is right here and right now. And right now, we are taking care of ourselves, taking care of our bodies, and embracing this moment. If we find that our mind starts to wonder, we can always call our attention back to our breath.
Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you got exactly what you needed. And we'll close it out with namaste. Namaste.